Today's Super Bowl going to be a historic game because for the first time in NFL history, both team starting quarterbacks are black. Patrick Mahomes from the Kansas City Chiefs and Jalen Hurts from the Philadelphia Eagles facing off right now at the biggest sporting event of the year. And meanwhile, the White House breaking with tradition after President Biden declined a pregame interview this Super Bowl Sunday. The last minute decision leaving some confused as the president is missing an opportunity to speak to millions of viewers across the world. News Nation's Alex Capriello live for us tonight right outside of State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Alex, the president opted out of this pre-Super Bowl interview. Yeah, that's right. An estimated 100 million Americans are expected to tune in for the Super Bowl today. And that's obviously a huge audience that the president has the potential to reach. But even still, after some back and forth negotiations, the president declined that opportunity and that tradition. I also remember going to the Super Bowl. A tradition Stadium. unlike any other. Uh, well, and, almost. And, uh, the tradition of airing a presidential pregame interview on the network carrying the Super Bowl started with President George W. Bush in 2004 before Super Bowl 38. And it continued with former presidents Barack Obama and Donald Trump. We enjoy watching the game and, and we hope for a good game. Now I end up with about 700 people for a Super Bowl. And uh, believe it or not, there are a lot of friends. Except for in 2018, when Trump refused an interview with NBC. I'd rather not speculate out loud. President Biden conducted Super Bowl interviews ahead of the big game each of the last two years. But now... Good afternoon, everybody. After days of conflicting reports, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre okay, tweeting Friday, although the president was looking forward to an interview on Fox Soul, a streaming network with a largely African-American audience, they were informed by Fox Corporation that the interview was canceled. Instead, according to reports, Fox suggested having one of its anchors conduct the interview on Fox News, but the president is said to have declined. Um, Barbara Walters and so many. And as of this moment, there's no exact reason why the president has declined that interview with Fox Corporation. All right, I appreciate that, Alex. And meanwhile, so much of the online chatter right now, just excited over Rihanna's halftime performance. What can you tell us in terms of any sneak peeks? Yeah, we actually had the chance to hear from Rihanna earlier this week. It was the first time she ever broke her silence about it. She really conveyed a lot of excitement. Obviously, this has been a long time coming for her. She has not performed live for seven years, and she's also recently a new mother, gave birth to a little baby boy back in May. So uh, she really talked about some of the physical exertion that she had to uh, get back into shape for when it came to this halftime show. But even still, she had quite a few fears and hesitations leading up to it before she ultimately accepted the job. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.